Hey everyone, it's Michael. I wanted to do a quick video today uh, for all of you mini album makers out there to show to you what I mean when I talk about my double cover. Um, I posted the video of this, let me move this out of the way, this baby boy book last week or the week before. I'll leave a link below. Um, this was made using the Minnesota album tutorial from Your Book of Memories. And I had a few comments on this, because I mentioned in my video that I used my double, my double cover technique. And I had a few people ask me what I exactly meant by that. And I will be honest, I have watched a lot of videos from other album makers out there. I have never seen anyone else do this, so I might be the first person to come up with this idea. I might, I'm not saying that for a fact. If someone else has already done this, no problem. Um, but in a normal album, I, here, maybe you could see it here. This album was done in this navy-ish blue paper. Okay, that would be the album cover. Then I cut another piece of chipboard and I covered it with scrapbook paper here on the spine and here on the back. So you can see there's like two layers here to the cover. Um, in a normal album, we have our album cover, front, back, and spine, and then we just cover it with paper um, after we use our solid cardstock for our base. So this is one layer of paper. Maybe we'll do some embellishments here, a frame or flowers or something, but it's normally just covering the album cover. The same thing here with this coffee album. The base is black, and then there's just a sheet of this scrapbook paper. Here on this album, this is a butterfly album that I'm working on. The base is black, but you can see here there's another layer on the spine and another layer on the front and on the back. So the reason I think I started to do this sometime a year ago maybe is when I was working on an album like this and I needed to secure this ribbon. And I didn't want to just put the ribbon down and then put a piece of paper on top of here because I knew that this was not going to be strong enough. So I came up with this idea of, well, why not just do a double layer. So what I do is this album is eight by eight. So I cut a piece of the chipboard that I'm using one quarter of an inch smaller on all sides. So the album cover for this is going to be uh, seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. The spine is three by eight. So I cut it two and three quarters by seven and three quarters, and the back is also seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And then all I did was I took, here's my chipboard, and I put double-sided tape across the whole thing, and I layered the paper on top, and I just covered it as I would a standalone type of, of cover. And I will now adhere it to the card front like this, to secure my ribbon that I've already put double-sided tape here. So now it'll get another layer of like this and the ribbon will just sit like this coming out of the book. But that's one way. I'm gonna kick this up a notch even more because I'm going to put a piece of fun foam behind here and then I will adhere this to the cover front. So, um, I've already done that. This is the back of the book. So I had my chipboard, I covered it with the paper, and then I cut a piece of fun foam a little bit shy of seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters, and I adhered it to the back of this using uh, double-sided tape. So I'm gonna show you that here. This is my cover, my second cover. When I'm doing this, when I do my covers, I really like to use, this is two inch double-sided tape, 48 millimeter, if you're here in Brazil. And all I will do is, I will just 
cover the album, the back of the album, like this. You don't need the white tape. You could certainly use a half inch or three eighths. You're just gonna use up more. You don't need to cover the whole thing. I like to do this because I like to make the, sure that this is secure. If you're not going to use this wider tape, you know, you're going to run your tape around the four sides and then maybe a big X or a couple of diagonals of tape just to make sure that it's not going to come up, up in any way. So I have here with my tape, I'm going to burnish this well with a bone folder. I have a piece of fun foam that is just shy of seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. I don't want to make it the same exact size because fun foam squishes a little bit. So in case this moves at all, I don't want it poking out past the, the cover. So I'm going to remove the tape backing. You could also do this with wet glue. That wouldn't be a problem. I'm going to, it's easier if you're standing up over it, but I think I'm okay here. Okay, burnish this down a bit. This is my front. So now I'm going to come back. I could just do this with wet glue at this point, um, but I am going to come back again with the tape. Depending on the country you live in, I'm going to be honest, this, this is good double-sided tape. Um, it's from a company called Delphix. It took me a while to actually find a decent double-sided tape here. Okay, again, you could use the wet glue at this point. Removing the tape backing on fun foam is not always the easiest thing, but we're doing pretty good here. Okay, I ripped up a little of the tape. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, now I'm gonna come here. This is my cover. I have the double-sided tape here covering my ribbon. I'm just going to Remove this tape backing also. It will just give one more layer of protection with the ribbon. I'm going to, I'm going to put these two rolls of tape in here just to try to keep this as even as possible. And I am just going to center this on my cover. I can open the book, burnish really well, and that is my double cover. I'm going to do the same thing on the back with this piece, and then I will put the same thing on the back with this piece for my spine. But that is, and then my ribbon is just held really nicely here. So that is my double cover idea. I'd love to know what you guys think of this. Does anyone do this? Has anyone seen anyone do this? Really, I am very interested. Um, I know if you don't, I know fun, fun Foam is really used a lot here in Brazil. I buy huge sheets. So I don't know how easily it is to find in the country that you live in, but I'd love to know what you think of this idea. If you do this idea, if you're going to start using this idea. Um, anyway, thank you so much for giving me 10 minutes of your day. I hope you will like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that bell so that you are notified. And I will be back soon with more videos. Take care, everyone.